Welcome back. This is CTV Morning Live, and this is Ask the Expert. JB Robiar is here from Robiar Hearing Centers. Questions, my friends, 613 789 6559, extension 2803. Email us ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. Facebook us and tweet us questions as well. We've got a couple of questions coming up. Uh, one of the main uh, problems that people experience, one of the common problems, I guess, is something you and I have discussed on this show before, and it's uh, tinnitus or tinnitus or mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, you want to call it. and I noticed uh, I was reading an article the other day that advancements continue in this area and that they're uh, continually working on a problem they're ringing in the ears is one of the most common things you must get that phone call every day or, or visit uh, every day we do it, it's a very common disorder and um, <clears throat> unfortunately there's not much that you can do uh, physically anyhow in addressing tinnitus yeah but what we've what we've developed is a uh, is a tinnitus retraining um, protocol a program in itself that's just designed to train the individual train the patient to to learn to 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 mask out or to to ignore in a sense yeah the tinnitus itself yeah so the program it also involves sound generators so very often we end up using devices that will that'll produce alternate sounds that will that, that, that are designed to mask out the tinnitus. Right. So it's a new program that we've got in place, and that's offered at our at our Westgate office, also in Canada. Mm -hmm. And and the whole the whole design of the program is to just is to teach the patient to learn to accept the the, the tinnitus and learn to mask it out. It's something that we're there's a common theme here, though, when it comes to hearing related issues, and that is reteaching and retraining yourself as an adult, for the most part, and, and in most cases as an older adult. That's right. To to work around these problems, and and there are solutions other than just sticking a hearing aid in your ear, right? That's right. That's right. I mean, there's. There's certainly a rehabilitation factor, yeah. and that's exactly what we're doing with tinnitus retraining. Um, and additionally, I, I, and what we were talking about earlier was just a diminishment in processing ability. Right. Again, it's just retraining the patient how to hear. Yeah. And that's a feasible solution for everyone. Not, in fact, we very often we'll see people that come to us, yeah. and they're having great difficulty hearing in noise. Yeah. And what we find is, is that, in fact, they're not, they're not suffering from a hearing loss. Right. I mean, it, it can be uh, affecting people's jobs even without any hearing loss whatsoever. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure some of the people around here would say it's that I, I need some retraining myself. But that retraining is available it for is, people, It is. It right? is. Absolutely. It's available to everyone, um, whether you wear hearing aids or not. But very often it's age-related. So, yeah. and, and so this program is just designed to enhance your processing ability yeah. and just reteach you how to, how to hear a noise. So JB, there's a reason they call it listening skills because it mm -hmm. is a skill to That's be right. able to, to communicate and, and listen and, and understand you know, what's being said to you. That's right. In, in, uh, and not just hearing through your ears. Right? That's right. Yeah. And, and as we age sometimes, what can develop or what we can lose is just our auditory cues. And this program is just designed to restore that. So, yeah. so, so it's got a far reach. Would it be fair to say that in many cases this is uh, a, a problem can be rectified to a certain degree simply by concentrating on on that listening and on those skills to 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 more lock into a, a conversation, let's say, or a sound uh, that that you want to hear and to be able to focus in on that? Yeah, I think part of the problem is as we as we age, our distractibility increases. And so with some of these programs, what it teaches us is to, is to increase our, our processing ability, mm -hmm. increase our working memory as well. So they're, they're essentially they're, they're, they're memory games, if you will. Right. And, um, and, that, and, and ultimately what that does is that decreases our distractibility and, and allows us to hear better in noise or in challenging hearing. Right. So. Although there is no question that many people and uh, many of your uh, you know, customers that call or visit your website are experiencing some level of, of hearing oh, loss, absolutely. be it age related yeah. or, or otherwise. And right? that's something we normally we yeah. would determine as when, well. When, uh, when should people be tested for hearing? I know babies are tested once. That's right. Right, just to determine yeah. that everything's good. Yep. Uh, when should people be tested? Do they wait until they start having issues or is it something that you can do at a certain age? I, you can do it any time. I mean, there's, there's, I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's no harm by having just a baseline, of course. 
But I would generally su suggest to have a hearing test if you're experiencing hearing loss. Right, if, if any sort of difficulty. Any sort of difficulty, that's right. Yeah, and I know you have uh, trained audiologists and, and professionals uh, on site at each of, uh, each of your locations. That's right, we've got hearing professionals at each one of our locations. Yeah. And we also have an ear, nose, and throat doctor that uh, provides a weekly clinic. Right, right. And so on, on the odd occasion where we do find disorders or where we do find um, issues that need to be medically uh, resolved, then of course we would yeah. refer to our ears and throat doctor. Yeah, I would guess that's uh, not uncommon eh, for it's medical not that issues uncommon. to be part it's of it. A, it's a great service to offer, certainly. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. All right, uh, break time, but uh, again, uh, we urge you to ask your questions and ask them right away. Go on the telephone to 613-789-6559, extension 2803. Ottawa.morning at <clears throat> is our uh, email address. You can Facebook questions as well. JB Robiar here from Robiar Hearing Centers, there are the locations, as mentioned, in the West End, MacArthur Avenue, Carling Avenue. Hearingisbelieving.com is the website we've been looking at today, as a matter of fact. We'll be back with more of Ask the Expert after this.